Okay, welcome to Wednesday Morning Bible Study. Um, we're reading Proverbs 24, 10 to 22 and discussing it. If you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Rescue those being taken off to death, and from those staggering to the slaughter, don't hold back. If you say, look, we didn't know about it, the one who weighs hearts, doesn't he understand? The one who protects your life, he knows. He makes people pay for their actions. My child, eat honey for it is good. The honeycomb is sweet in your mouth. Know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, there is a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Wicked one, don't wait secretly at the home of the righteous. Don't destroy their dwelling. The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up. But the wicked will stumble into trouble. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. When they stumble, don't let your heart be glad. Or the Lord will see it and be displeased, and he will turn his anger from them. Don't get fighting mad at evil people. Don't be envious of the wicked. Indeed, there is no future for the evil. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. Fear the Lord, my child, as well as the king. Don't associate with those who are rebellious. Disaster comes suddenly from them. Who can know the ruin that both can bring? Amen. Mm -hmm. First, what, what words stand out? I like rescue those being taken off to death. Mm. Rescue those who've been taken off to death. Other comments? What are the words? The, the one who protects your life, he knows. Mm. Mm -hmm. Verse 14, know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, there's a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Amen. 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 Again, if you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Mm. We'll explore that. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. Mm. Mm -hmm. And again, when that when they stumble, don't let your heart be glad. Mm -hmm. Don't get fight mad at evil people. Don't be envious of the anger from them. Mm -hmm. There is no future for the evil. The one who Verse six. Your life, he knows. Mm. Thanks, Tracy. Stefan, you can say. Verse sixteen: The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up. But the wicked will stumble into trouble. <laughs> well, they need to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Anything else before we read it again? He makes people pay for his actions, for their actions. For their actions, yeah. Yeah. Don't don't associate with those who are rebellious. Yeah. There's a lot, there's a lot here and a lot of the old language to kind of uh, decipher. Um, would would anybody like to read it a second time? If you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Rescue those being taken off to death. For those staggering to slaughter, don't hold back. If you say, look, we didn't know about it, the one who weighs hearts, doesn't he understand? The one who protects your life, he knows. He makes people pay for their actions. My child, eat honey, for it is good. The honeycomb is sweet in your mouth. Know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, 
there's a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Wicked one, don't wait secretly at the home of the righteous. Don't destroy their dwelling. The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up. But the wicked will stumble into trouble. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. When they stumble, don't let your heart be glad. For the Lord will see it and be displeased, and he will turn his anger from them. Don't get fighting mad at evil people. Don't be envious of the wicked. Indeed, there is no future for the evil. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. Fear the Lord, my child, as well as the king. Don't associate with those who are rebellious. Disaster comes suddenly from them. Who can know the ruin that both can bring? Amen. 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 All right. There's a lot there. What is it saying? A lot. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of a lot of different things, too. I, I think the um, verse 14, uh, know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, there's a future. Uh, it's, it's telling us that, you know, with a full understanding, you can be guided correctly. And it, 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 and it takes away, uh, it addresses and takes away the, the things that you may ordinarily do, um, but it, 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 it guides you. It, it gives you hope for the future, wisdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. What else? You know, one, one of the things that, uh, you know, the, the, the New Testament writings are more, you know, these take these passages, the themes are more consistent. You know, they're, they're easier because the language is, is newer, even though it's old language, it's still much newer than this. So, so um, you know, you look as you read the Old Testament, you see a lot of different ideas mixed in. Um, so if we... we uh, so this first one, if you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Mm. What do you think? What does that what does that say? Need stronger faith? Yeah, I would say yeah and and if that was New Testament language, that would that would it would be saying that that your your strength that your faith in God is not what it should be. Right. Hmm. I also would say that uh, you're not rejoicing enough. You're not praising the Lord enough because mm -hmm. the joy of the Lord is our strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we go, and, and probably the best way is that we go through this. Uh, so, you know, rescue, rescue those being taken off to death and from those staggering to the slaughter. Don't hold back. It's a call to action. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be a a, a passive observer. Mm -hmm. Do something. Mm -hmm. Help people. Help people, and 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 again, these words know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you mm -hmm. find it, there's a future, and so the wisdom here is really obviously the faith in God. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, if you find that faith, there is a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Yeah. You'll look at things differently. You'll look at yes. things differently. You won't. You, there's no joy in your enemies falling. Right, right, uh, right. You, you'll see beyond those regular emotions. Mm -hmm. And know that God is in control over everything. Over everything. Everything. And it's just an interesting passage. You know, wicked one, don't wait secretly at the home of the righteous. Don't destroy their dwelling. Okay. That the, the righteous are protected. They may fall yeah. seven times, but the, the wicked are not protected. 
So, yeah. so you see the messages to both the the righteous and the wicked, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the righteous, but, you know, wait, wait, don't get too filled with yourself. Whoa, 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 hold on. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. Mm -hmm. When they when they stumble, don't let your heart be glad. Yeah, we, you know, you know, I'm building you up here, but 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 hold on now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so it's interesting. So the first part is really talking to, to the wicked, and the second part is talking to the righteous. Mm -hmm. As you break that down. Mm -hmm. And let the Lord fight your battles. It's just mm -hmm. not for you. Don't right. get fight mad at evil people. Just just, no. just stand still. Right. No yep. other God has, has it all. He has the solution. No. The, mm -hmm. the, the, the lamp of the wicked. Yep. Yeah. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. So you don't need to worry. No. Nope. Just fear the Lord. Just focus on fearing the Lord. And and in the Old Testament, fearing the Lord and praising the Lord, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, would be that, you know, the, as I said, the New Testament would say, praise the Lord, my child. Yep. Keep and your eyes on him. Yep, keep your eyes. And rebellious, you know, that's one of the things, too, because I have the Greek uh, and Hebrew translations of the Bible. So it's just interesting that, you know, the English translations are often very, very loose. And so a lot of the words you could actually argue to say, well, that you know, the, the word rebellious, you know, don't associate with those who are rebellious, you know, could be interpreted as, you know, wicked or criminals or other things. So which is very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. the, uh, would somebody want to read it a third time? I think it's saying don't associate with them because it's very easy to, to turn into them. That's why he's telling, he's telling mm -hmm. us not to envy, envy what they have also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think it's very easy to turn that way. Yeah. Exactly. Who'd like to read it a, th a third and final time? If you show yourself weak on a day of distress, your strength is too small. Rescue those being taken off to death and from those staggering to the slaughter. Don't hold back. If you say, look, we don't know about it. The one who weighs your heart, doesn't he understand? The one who protects your life, he knows, he makes people pay for their actions. My child, eat honey for it is good. The honeycomb is sweet in your mouth. Know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. If you find it, there is a future. Your hope won't be cut off. Wicked one, don't wait secretly at the home of the righteous. Don't destroy their dwelling. The righteous may fall seven times, but still get up. But the wicked will stumble into trouble. When your enemies fall, don't rejoice. When they stumble, don't let your heart be glad or the Lord will see it and be displeased and he will turn his anger from them. Don't get fighting mad at you evil people. Don't be envious of the wicked. Indeed, there is no future for the evil. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. Fear the Lord, my child, as well as the king. Don't associate with those who are rebellious. Disaster comes suddenly for them, from them. Who can know the ruin that both can bring? Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. So what do we take away with this? What do we walk away with this morning? Well, verse 10 and 11, you know, 10 asks you to build up your most holy faith, you know, mm -hmm. the joy of the Lord, praise God more so that the joy of the Lord could be our strength. And it says, rescue those being taken off to death, being a bolder witness. I think, you know, um, that's what that says. Mm -hmm. It says, don't hold back. Mm -hmm. You got to tell people, you know, um, it, it may not, it may not be it the comfort zone that you want, but we still need to be a better and bolder witness for Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. What else? What else? 
I like how Vanita said that um, it's a call to action. Um, so it, it reminds us um, to ev evangelize, to mm. reach out to those souls who are born. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Naomi. Well said. Other comments? Yes, continue making disciples, even in even in when you think it's the end for a person. Uh, con continue on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the, the the we didn't talk that much about the my child eat honey for it is good. The honeycomb is sweet in your mouth. Know that wisdom is like that for your whole being. Mm -hmm. so, so wisdom, faith. Faith in God is like a honeycomb. It's sweet in the mouth. And if you find that faith, there's a future and your mm -hmm. hope won't be cut off. Mm -hmm. I like the, that analogy of food. Yeah. Plus it's breakfast time and I'm hungry. So I, I, <laughs> <laughs> that honeycomb sounds, sounds very good. Sounds very, very good. The, uh, um, what else? Also, we, we take some prayer. Also wisdom you know, is a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. You know, once yeah. you, yes. <laughs> once you, <laughs> once right. you acquire wisdom, you, you don't make the same mistakes twice. <laughs> right. Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Right. yes. That's a good yeah. one. Lifesaver. Yes. It's a lifesaver, you know. Mm. You Absolutely. don't have to chew your cabbage twice when you're wise, you know. Right. The, uh, and that's one of the gifts of the spirit, too, that we'll, we'll talk about. But yeah, wisdom. That uh, you know, people have it in some measure, but some people have it more than others as a gift. And it's a guiding, it's a guiding light that will redirect you um, mm -hmm. to to do His will, not yours. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. The uh, yeah. good, good. Anything else before we uh, we close out and uh, take some prayers? Um, I would say about the holiness, um, be encouraged to stay holy, be encouraged to not to um, be with those who are rebellious, but mm -hmm. to keep keep ourselves spotless so that our, our testimony can be more powerful. Right, right. Well said. Very well said. So with that, we'll stop the recording.